Literally yesterday, I got, I received the four plants who bear root dormant trees, flowering trees. Uh, I have been waiting, waiting, waiting. And uh, I corresponded with this nursery. Yesterday, finally, it arrived. And, you know, when I opened it, there's an instruction uh, says that you have to put it in the water for at least two to four hours. So I did that, and uh, so I um, put it in the ground. Uh, first one is, uh, I think, uh, uh, Kona's Kusa, which is uh, Kusa Dogwood. Uh, I think that come from like, Japan or Asia, and uh, it's a, a dogwood, a flowering dogwood, a white, Petal type, you know. Actually, this is not a petal, and uh, uh, it's a black, I think. Uh, all the corners, uh, dogwood flowers are, are black. There's like a showy, and the flowers are right in the middle, like a very tiny area. There's a flowers there, and also uh, berries uh, come out out of this. Uh, dogwood uh, it has been my favorite. Uh, Plant. I think uh, ever since I, I discovered, I found when I was hiking in Japan when I was younger, when I was 20s, I was hiking in Japan. I was uh, like a you know, amateur photographer for wild flowers, so I was taking pictures of uh, you know along the way when I was you know walking, hiking the mountain in Japan. And I, I saw this, um, I think this is called uh, bunchberry dogwood, uh, like a tiny, tiny uh, statue, like a this, this big. But the flowers are, are this big, and uh, it's all, you know, dogwood flower type of full petal, uh, which is a black, uh, very beautiful, tiny. So I took a picture and uh, saw that particular image, it was very, very strong. So when I came to the U.S., uh, of course, the uh, U.S. Uh, landscaping uh, trees uh, are very, I would say, they're very pretty. When I, when I came to Seattle, I saw lots, lots of uh, uh, flowering uh, uh, apples, uh, crab apples, and among them also, I saw the uh, flowering dogwood, which is mostly pink or white. I thought it was a fantastically beautiful, so uh, it has been a dream of mine uh, to plant those. So I got the uh, Kona's Florida, which is a flowering dogwood, white color, and uh, I got the Kusa dogwood, so I planted there. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very, very, you know, bare uh, roots, nothing coming out yet. Uh, I think I hope it's going to come out from dormancy and the start to grow, but uh, I, I have never had experience of uh, planting that kind of a, uh, trees or whatever. So I don't know. This particular nursery also sell the dormant uh, trees, like a, you know, three or four feet, five feet to six feet. And then if you go to the longer, more matured trees, uh, you have to pay more. So I pay like a you know smallest one, and uh, uh, so that I could watch them grow, right? <laughs> well, that's maybe uh, my um, way of uh, you know economizing. Uh, so um, you know, cheapest one is the smallest, and so it takes longer to grow bigger. And, but that's okay, you know, probably in my lifetime I still have time, I guess, so I could watch them grow. Uh, so those two dogwood, and uh, uh, then I got the uh, Minnesota Mock Orange, which is a double flowering, uh, Fraudelphus virginalis, uh, uh, the Mock Orange, which also my favorite. Uh, beautiful, 
and so I got that you know, very tiny <laughs> bare roots and then the PG hydrangea which is white flowering again and uh, also that was uh, uh, shade loving I have uh, this huge um, tree in my front yard uh, that making lots of shady area there but I like to have another in a double shade and I have to grow something there. So this particular area I have to find out many many uh, shade tolerant uh, plants. Mostly plants. Uh, even the shade loving one I think they love uh, the bright shade maybe, uh, the double shade. Uh, it's not the deep shade. As a, no deep shade it's nothing grow there except uh, you know, some of the, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, species probably grow. But hydrangea, I think that, uh, they are shade trolled. So yeah, I, in later, I think I, I will get more hydrangea there because hydrangea has a lot of different kinds. Uh, you know, if you think about hydrangea, uh, you know, think about it blue purple type of colored one but I don't like those that's kind of a gaudy and so I like the white one uh, my dreams is initially I think I try to make the white garden it's, everything is white but you know uh, that's kind of a very very ambitious thing there yeah, very controlled and uh, you know but it's in a way it, uh, if you make a white garden, you you have an easier time to pick up the plants because uh, you know you can go to nursery or whatever. Only you're looking at the white flowering one and white flowering perennials and shrubs and uh, uh, trees. It's easy to to you know to orient yourself to go to that particular area to find the plants and so. Uh, but that's easy, but that's, at the same time, it's very difficult because uh, some of the white flowering uh, species is, you know, of course some of them are very, very attractive, pretty, but, uh, you know, it's rare, maybe, and uh, like a white lavender. I'm not sure that's rare or not, but you know, if you go by the lavender bush, uh, you don't see white lavender much, white flowering lavender. That's very, very difficult. And but some of them, you know, like a lilac, for example, white lilacs, uh, that's also difficult. And so um, lilacs, I like to get it. Uh, but anyway, is a white is a very, very nice color. And so mostly I, I got is like a white flowering uh, trees. Uh, you know, Dogwood and uh, uh, Alsia, which is the uh, Rose of Sharon, and uh, you know, the butterfly bush, even. Uh, I used to have a white flowering butterfly bush, but the butterfly bush is, I think, it's the, the Spanish type of white flower. When it's full bloom, it's pretty beautiful, but it starts to change the color to the brown because it finishes and then, you know, uh, become like a brownish and it's kind of a you know still beautiful but uh, uh, you know it's not white anymore so I, I but I think eventually I like to get that uh, even though I got the two blue uh, butterfly bush uh, but uh, yeah white one is nice so slowly I think next 10 years I have to convert everything into white which is my dream and uh, white garden, um, it's called moon garden. And some of the people uh, do that in uh, the internet, uh, YouTube. There's a lot of white garden uh, videos there. And it's beautiful. It's it's a very uh, defined look to it because it's you no know, no colors, no mismatch of uh, different colors or you know all these things that uh, you don't. Uh, you know, worry about, and uh, but you only see this white color, but shapes each one is different, and also each one is uh, uh, coming out, you know, to blue, 
uh, very different time of the year. Uh, therefore, you can always, always, you can see some plants are flowering, and some trees are flowering sometimes, uh, but not all the time. So it's very interesting to see all year round. Uh, you know, so that's my goal there. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, it's very, very difficult to find sometimes. Like a white aster, uh, it's very difficult sometimes. But I like to get that the white uh, heather aster, which is widely grown in Colorado. I'm not sure here, it's widely uh, in the wild that you can find a white aster, heather aster uh, here. But uh, uh, I like to get that, very beautiful. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's my dream.